We've been talking about it all week, whether it's texting, chat rooms, or different messaging apps. News 2's Temple Ricky is working double duty today, and she has tips on how to keep your children safe on the web. With the threat of sexual predators, online bullies, and scams, I sat down with some low country experts who say that now is a critical time to start monitoring your kid's activity. It's, it's very difficult for a parent to shield their kid from this, you know, big cyber world. Uh, however, you know, it's, it's, it's very important. Social media is a powerful tool that has the ability to build up somebody's entire life. But in an instant, it can also be used to destroy. Research shows that online interaction is causing highs that could lead to addiction. There's a study out there that actually shows you that social media notifications like Instagram hearts and direct messages and that kind of thing give you the same high that drugs do. One solution, parents putting limitations on technology usage. I really encourage offline activity together as a family and put down the phones to really live life in the moment and try to teach your kids that it's not all about these notifications and how popular you are online. To avoid troublesome situations, experts say it's important to share with a purpose and pause before you post. And, you know, just really, you know, be the example. You know, we, we, we tell our kids do the right thing. Well, as parents, we have to do the right thing, uh, especially in the area of social media. For more information and tips on how to keep your child safe in a cyber world, check out our website, countonto.com. In Studio Temple Ricky, count on two.